Whether you're looking to improve your social skills, make new friends, build your business, or even improve your love life by talking to or getting your crush, in this video, Rainy Bites will definitely help you to solve these issues. Because we're going to be sharing 10 psychological tricks that are simple, effective, and can be used by anyone. And here's the thing, these psychological tricks aren't just some random ideas, but they're actually used by most of successful and influential individuals out there. That's right, the people who seem to have it all figured out are using these same tricks to get ahead in life, consciously or unconsciously. Before we start, make sure to subscribe for more fun and informative content from Brainy Bites. Okay, let's dive in. Trick number one, how to counter offensive joke. Have you ever been the subject of an offensive joke? It can be a really uncomfortable situation. But did you know that there's a simple way to disarm the joke teller and make them feel embarrassed instead? Here's how. If someone tells an offensive joke about you, just calmly ask them to repeat it or explain it again. When they do, the joke won't be funny anymore because the humor comes from the surprise factor. Trick number two, Maintain interest. Do you ever wonder why people often seem disinterested? When you speak, it could be because you're not maintaining eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool that can make you appear confident, trustworthy, and attractive. In fact, it can even release endorphins in your brain that make you feel good. But if the thought of staring into someone's eyes for too long makes you uncomfortable, don't worry. You can start by practicing with a friend or family member but also don't stare too long. It's important to break eye contact every five to eight seconds to make the other person feel comfortable. When you do break eye contact, make sure to look to the side in natural way for a brief moment, avoid looking down, as looking down is subconsciously perceived as a sign of lack of confidence. So next time you want to make a good impression, try maintaining eye contact and see how people react. Trick number three, is he or she secretly stalking or looking at me? Have you ever had that sneaky feeling? That someone might be secretly interested in you or even stalking you? It's an uncomfortable thought, but here's a fun trick to find out for sure. Next time you're around that person, try yawning and see if they do the same. Awning is contagious, even among humans. So if they're secretly paying attention to you, they'll likely yawn too. But make sure they can see you yawning or it won't work. And if they don't yawn back, don't fret. It doesn't necessarily mean they're not interested in you. Perhaps they're just not prone to contagious yawning. Just don't overuse this trick. Or people might think you have an odd fascination with yawning. A fun fact, you probably also yawn just now because of this video. Trick number four, how to get people to spill information. Have you ever been curious about someone or wanted to find out more about a particular topic? but felt like it was difficult to get the information. Here's a little psychology trick that could help. After they finish their sentence, keep a light smile. Maintain eye contact. And then keep silent for a few seconds as if you're waiting for them to continue. It may feel a bit uncomfortable. But chances are they will start speaking again and share more information with you. By keeping silent after someone finishes speaking, you create a slight discomfort that triggers the other person to continue speaking and fill the silence. As a result, you may end up getting more information than you initially anticipated. This technique can work wonders in getting juicy gossip, discovering hidden truths, or even catching someone in a lie. It's a powerful and subtle technique, but one that should be used sparingly to avoid making others uncomfortable. And just for fun, did you know that the average person can only keep a secret for 47 hours before feeling the urge to spill the beans, so who knows what secrets you might uncover with this little trick. Trick number 5, how to read people like a detective. Have you ever wondered if someone is truly interested in talking with you or if they're just being polite? If you're struggling to read someone's body language, this trick can help you out. Keep an eye on their posture and feet if their posture is open, with their feet pointing towards you. It's a good sign that they're comfortable with your company and willing to engage in conversation. On the other hand, if their posture is closed or their feet are pointing away from you, it could be a sign that they're not comfortable around you yet. 
but why does this technique work? Well, our body language often reflects our inner emotions and thoughts. And sometimes we're not even aware of it. By paying attention to someone's body language, you can get a better sense of how they're feeling and adjust your behavior accordingly. So next time you're talking to someone and you're not sure if they're really into the conversation, take a quick glance at their feet. It might just give you the answer you need. And hey, here's a fun fact for you. People who use open body language like and crossed arms and legs are perceived as more attractive and trustworthy. So not only will this trick help you read other people's body, it might even make you more appealing to others. Trick number six, let them talk. Have you ever found yourself hesitant or afraid to engage in conversation? Because you don't know what to talk about, or perhaps the conversation dries out too quickly, leaving you feeling frustrated and disconnected. Well, the psychology trick to fix this issue is this. Talk about what they interested in. Well, what are they interested in? Everybody thinks that the most interested thing is about themselves, so when it is stuck, try asking the person any question about themselves. It can be something as simple as what do you like to do for fun? Or tell me about your favorite travel experience. Then see how they will talk non-stop with bright eyes. As they answer, make sure to maintain eye contact and show genuine interest in what they're saying. Nod your head. Say things like really, no way, that's awesome, etc. to show that you're actively listening. And then reply them with your experience of that particular topic. Your genuine thought about it and don't forget to ask follow-up questions, if necessary to keep the conversation going. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, remember to use this psychology trick and let the other person talk about themselves. And see how your newfound conversation skills can improve your connections. Trick number 7. The favor, make them invest in you. If you want to make the other person view you more positively, or to be closed with them quickly, you can use this trick. Ask them to do a small favor for you. Any small favor. For example, can you help me to pass over that apple? People are more likely to help those they like. And asking for a small favor is an easy way for you to get them to help you. And make them feel positively towards you, even if they don't particularly like you yet. They're unlikely to refuse a small request. By doing you the favor, they might subconsciously think, I help them out, so maybe I do like them after all. This can help shift their perception of you in a more positive direction. So try this out to your colleague, crush, etc. However, be careful not to overuse this trick, as it may backfire and make you appear needy or annoying. Use it sparingly and only when appropriate. Trick number 8. Charismatic Confident Walk Have you ever wanted to exude confidence? and make people move out of your way without saying a word. Well, there's a simple trick to achieve this. The next time you find yourself walking in a crowded area, stand up tall, imagine a string pulling your body straight up from above and walk with conviction. But here's the most important part. Instead of looking at the eyes of the people around you or your surroundings, look straight ahead at where you want to go. This sends a message to others that you know where you're headed, and they'll naturally move out of your way or create a path for you. Give it a try today and let us know in the comments how this trick worked for you, but remember, this is the correct way to walk charismatically, but also use your common sense. Do not to walk like the street is yours. LOL. Like, seriously bro. LOL. Trick number 9. Get anybody to like you instantly. There's a quick way and a slow way to build people interest in you. Well now, this psychological trick will boost people to like you instantly. Firstly, we need to know what is the most beautiful sound for every single person on earth, then we let them hear it often. But what sound exactly? The answer is the sound of their own name. So make sure to address them and call them by their name always. But we always forgot names, aren't we? Don't worry. To remember their name, the trick is to repeat their name a few times during your conversation and then associate it with something memorable. For example, if you meet someone named Mark, who is a dentist, you could imagine of a funny image of Mark wearing a toothbrush hat to help you remember his name. 
and profession. So next time you meet someone new, try repeating their name and associating it with a memorable image. Not only will it help you remember their name, but it will also make them feel important and appreciated. Just don't go overboard with the association. You don't want to be known as the person who always wears a toothbrush hat. Trick number 10, as above, so below. Everybody loves to be around someone who are positive and respectful. So if you want them to associate you with positivity and respect, talk about someone you both know in their back, but there is a but. But instead of saying their bad things, genuinely talk about how wonderful, kind, positive they are. Remember, genuinely, this way. People will like you because you never talk bad about other person from their back, but only the positive. Trust me, if you always talk bad things about others, chances are those who listen are also not your real friend, other than someone who wants to hear gossip. So always share the positive instead of the negative. And if you know someone who talks negative about others, you better be careful because they might talk negative things behind you as well. So those are few psychological tricks that we had tried and works for you. Brainy bites dear, remember, these tricks are not about manipulating people, but rather about building positive connections and improving communication. We hope you found these tricks useful and fun to try out in your daily life. If you love video like this, Make sure to slap that subscribe button and tickle that like button so more people can be befitted from this video. Oh hey, if you like this video, you will also like this Brainy Bites video here. Check it out.